Evening. Welcome to Hartwood Turning in the Stable Studio. Ah, lovely cup of tea. So this evening, um, true to my word, I decided that I would bring in a couple of extra earworms, people you've never seen before. So, cover your, avert your eyes. <laughs> this might, this may be scary. There you go. <laughs> but Joe's in, I suppose that's probably. So we have, we have we have two new people in this evening. So we'll introduce them first. Uh, on the bottom row on the left, we have <coughs> whose camera has just frozen. Susie, the Swiss with them. She'll be back. She'll be back in a minute. <coughs> we have we have uh, on the bottom right now. We have Roy the boy. Good evening. Good evening, Roy. And uh, my usual so two of my usual counterparts, uh, Joe. The voice of an angel. Good evening. And Terry, the pain in the posterior. The invincible. <laughs> the <laughs> evening, everybody. Invincible. Evening, everybody. Welcome aboard. And I we'll hope you enjoyed waiting. tonight's we'll just, show. We'll just kind of wait a wee second until Susie comes yeah, back. Okay. If she's in, she's coming live from Switzerland, so her internet sometimes fluctuates in and out a little bit. Oh, While you're doing that, Brian, you might pose oh. the question. You Look, might I'm pose the question. I'm live on YouTube. Look. So no right, you might pose the question while you're waiting, yeah. Susie. Okay, I'll, I'll, do I'll, that. I'll ask him yes, why. Terry. Yes, Terry. That's okay. I'm doing it now, Terry. Jeez, he's he's, he's slow, isn't he? Swear to God. So go to the overhead camera there, and we have two pieces of wood, both of a similar size, eight inches by four inches. Device not connected, it says for Susie. She'll be back in a minute. That's a piece of birch, eight by four inches, in spindle <laughs> orientation, and we have a piece of maple. Eight and a half by inch and three quarters, and cut in bowl orientation. So, the choice is yours. Do you want to see spindle work, or do yeah, you, want you want to see a bowl or, 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 or bowl orientation? You Answers on the postcard, please. Now, I will tell you that the first will be class some... only. Let me have first class only in the <laughs> postcards, or we'll yeah. be here for a fortnight. So I'll just tell bring myself back up here for a minute till we wait for Susie to come back. And uh, I was going to say something that's completely gone out of my head, which is not unusual. It's not very full in my head. It's pretty well empty. Okay. I've um, got some answers got already. Todd spindle. Pete, Pete it's Birch, Birch for Pete. Spindle. Birch for Pete. Doug, Doug, I might have known Malcolm Douglas. I might have known. Todd Michelle spindle. says maple. Bow. It's an either or question. Yeah, you have a choice, one or the other. Yeah, and Malcolm both. says both. Now, Malcolm, Malcolm could get deleted. It's not a problem. <laughs> so, not so a time we have the power. <laughs> we have the power. Yeah. Have yeah, you I'm give Roy and Susie a spanner, by the way? Oh, no, I haven't. I better do that. Roy, have you typed someone in the chat, please? I will do. I think he's just typed hello. in already. Um, yeah, but rather than Brian trying to scroll lead. back, you type it in now and get it right away. Uh, it's, not, it's not way for me to sign on it. Okay. I'll do it on a private chat, but can't do it on the. Oh, have you not got YouTube open? I have, but that's on the, not on the computer. I could no, but on, on the phone. Way. Go on your phone and just type hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In YouTube, it's, on your phone. It's like it's like teaching them. I don't know. There we are. There you are. I have Roy the boy, so I need to go there. Click on Roy the boy. Oh, stop just jumping. answering uh, Pete's I'm question. I'm just Did chasing this chat up the, up the screen. If you go up a bit and just click the put and it'll pause, Brian. There we go. Done it. So Roy's got a spanner, and we're just Roy, waiting for Susie to come back. Just type hello again, Roy, just to make sure. I was just going to say because I can't see it in blue. Type it again. It'll be there eventually. Sometimes I don't know. There we up. There it is. There you go. The device is not connected. Susie, to Susie was in further up, so you could probably scroll up and find. Yeah. Our, our microphone's not connected, or our camera's not connected. One of the two. But I'll just go and fix her uh, spanner if I can find her. There's no rush, Brown. You got it all night. Yeah, no, we've got till midnight. We're fine. Yeah, got to got. Well, you got to. It's only, it's only you run out of hours. A stream yard. Yeah, 20, uh, 20 hours of stream yard left. So we're yeah. <laughs> So if I give uh, I've got loads, I think I ain't using Actually, I before. suppose while we do wait, um, and one of us can read the chat, I don't know who's going to do it, but it, if Joe's doing it, she'll be finished probably in about a half hour. So, you know. Next, <laughs> next, next Wednesday, is that what you're trying to say, Ty? Mm, you know. 
<laughs> You're a terrible man. I'm going to bring you back on here just for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, get, I'll get me on back. Su Susie keeps trying, but she's, or it comes up saying her device is not connected. Oh, shame. It was working fine too until we went live. It was working lovely, actually. Yeah. Mm. It was working great stuff. How did we get on with this this poll of um, uh, spindle or bowl? Spindle or bowl? We've had three spindle, one bowl. Is that it? There you go. Is yeah. That all the, is that all the people and who are interested? Most of them are not interested in talking to you. See, they just want to chat to each other. I'll just go home then. Eh? <laughs> just leave the stream open. They'll yap all night. Leave the stream open. Yeah. Um, why don't you ask the question again? Because some people have turned. Yeah, new ones. A yeah. bit later. Yeah. How many have we got watching? Fifty-nine. Sixty 59. people watching. Right, sixty, 60 people. people. I need an answer from everybody. An answer from everybody. Oh, do you I want to see a spindle turn, or do you want to see a bowl turn? Let me go back to that camera. <laughs> a spindle oh, turn oh, or, or a bowl turn. One's maple, one's birch. Yeah. Just a spindle or bowl. Take that in. That's are, not you, what, spindle. are you doing anything else to him? Spindle. Are you coloring yeah, yeah, there will be color and decoration. It could and be spindle. anything, but you have to spindle. choose. Spindle. Bow. Spindle. Spindle definitely t is winning. Spindle. 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 I did see a spindle worth spindle. Spindle. last week, didn't I? Spindle. Spindle. I've got six spindles, one, <sighs> seven spindles, one bowl, two and bowls. Ward has gone one step further saying multi axe. Access spindle. Yeah. No, you don't have a choice. It's just spindle spindle done. It's just a simple spindle done with some text. It's a surprise. Oh, you can. So you can. So I think spindle looks like spindle's there, got right? it actually. To be honest. Spindle yeah. has it. Right. Okay. I'm going to stick this on the left. We'll go with spindle now. Let's see if we can get Susie left. in. And we'll try. Susie's definitely trying in the background to try and get in. Need to reboot her machine, maybe. Yeah, I think so. You can hear us, Susie. Reboot your machine. Su Susie has only ever been on, been on a webcam, webcam twice in her life before. This is the third occasion. Once she said was at a, he, at a conference want? call with work, and the other one was with Brian this afternoon. So. Yesterday, yeah. Poor thing. Oh, yesterday. <laughs> what, is, what did we did want? Neither. I want piercing, color, and pyrography. Shut up, and then maybe some tap dancing. Yeah, well, there'll be no tap maybe dancing. Well, can else. we tap dance if we want? Is that okay? That's the tap dancing. Yeah, don't dance too much on the taps that bad leg. You'll fall in the sink. <laughs> <laughs> That's that nice and tight. Let's uh, run that up and see how. I've got no seat here in this right. workshop. You've no You've seat. You've got a stand, have you? No. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've got a seat that recliner and that forward right, so. backwards. Forward. Okay, so what we're going to do then with a spindle is we're just going to make a kind of vase shape and then we're going to texture it. That's the plan. Right, you want to put us in the background while you start and then keep your eye on Susie just to see if she keeps coming and can come in. Good idea. Uh, how do I do that? that? There we go. If you're it's listening, me. Susie, just Reboot your machine. And come back in. And then if, if Brian doesn't notice you, tap it in the chat and we'll tell him to switch you back in. So we'll just give us a quick run with a half inch bowl gauge, just to put a basic shape on it. And it's going to be a fairly simple shaped vase with a kind of wide foot. Let me find some safety goggles to put on. <sighs> wrap around, wrap around goggles. Uh, turn the speed up a bit. We're in spindle orientation. Make sure everyone's locked down nice and tight. So that's about 1100 reds. That'll do for now. Joe's He's reading, reading the Go on, Joe. Okay. Just bear with me. Door 60 was first. Michelle was second. Foul tackle turns was third. Giving you a start. Welcome, well, Douglas. Uh, welcome, everybody. And good evening. Um, 
on the top of mine, I'm on my phone, it's Malcolm Douglas. Hey. Uh, then there's Michelle Usby, Tickle Turning, Paul Finley Wood Turning at Home, Ward Wilson, Paul Hoyt in the Greasy Turner, William Kenny, Todd at Glencove Woodworks. I'm going to say Susie Swiss Wood Turner. Um, just how you say that. There she, she is. is. Hey. Hey. Say hello to everybody, Susie, because they're all so watching the form, now. The, the, formal in, the formal introduction is Susie the Swiss Wood Turner live from Switzerland. Hey. <laughs> so get back in the background again, and I hope you stay there this time. Yes, I hope to. <laughs> oh, crumbs, it's all jumped up. Anyway, we've got Terry Bartlett, Pete Twisted Trees, Door 60. Oops. Roger Kent, Des Barnwell, that's a new name to me. That's a new name to me as well. Hi, Des. Barry Even Chitty, Des. Ryan Green, Greenhaven Creations. I don't know whether I said Greg Alexander, but I'm saying it again. Clings for yeah, a you, No, you care. didn't say that. Yeah. Rob? Yeah, it jumped up on him, you see, and I wasn't so sure. Yeah. Back to the half inch again. Doug Miller at Woodspun Round. Hi, Doug. Roger Gee. Kent. Copper Isle Wood Turning. Rob. A little more speed, I think. Jennifer Crafts and Creations. Jennifer. Jennifer. Nice to see you the weekend. Lucy Bundy Row. Hey. Hello, Lucy. Norman Lucy Greenwell. was there with her tribe. Tony Smith. The Wood Dude, Stephen. Raymond Wise. So currently I'm just taking rather large cuts just to get some, rid of some of the excess number. Gary Glass, the Yorkshire Git, AGK Woodworks, Andy. David Vaughan. Just keeps jumping, there must be a lot of people talking. <coughs> Callum Turn. Have I said James Crawford? No, no, Sorry James. It's jumping. James Crawford, Paul Kavanagh. Ruby Claire. Ruby. Hi, Ruby. Hi, Gentleman Ruby. Wood Turner. Andy the Valley Wood Turner, Bundy Row. Harvey Klein. Crumbs. Miss T's wood turning. Hi, Miss T. How's your migraine? Spider Spid. Well, there's a lot of people in this evening. There is. 77. Wow. 77. So that's why I'm taking so. Oh, I was just going to say that's that, you, you always take a long time, Joe. It's all right. That's my excuse, <laughs> and I'm sticking to it. Rex B. Oh, crumbs. I think it... We're there. No, I do apologize well, I think... if I've missed yeah, anybody. You, you may have missed Norman Greenwell away. and William Kenny. No, I said both of those. And oh, Gary Y. I think you did. Miss Gary, Gary Y. Who's Gary yeah. Y? That's a new name. Gary Y. Gary Y says spindle. Uh, Rex B, the wood is... Birch. birch. It's maple, no, isn't it? Oh, no, it's birch, isn't it? It's the bowl one that's birch, isn't it? Oh, God. I mean, maple, <laughs> get it right. <laughs> Who employed these here, Lord? <laughs> oh, me. <laughs> you say Tony Smith, did you, by the way? I did. Good, just checking. So welcome along to the new uh, the new names that are in the chat there. Um, a huge welcome to them, and also a huge welcome to everybody else who's in. Thank you very much for coming in. Um, just to watch this old idiot turn something. That's actually quite a nice piece of wood, that. I won't call you an idiot. But we've we've got no, some, I wouldn't call you an idiot. But cracking fun on the first bit. And a bit of cracking up here, so we may just stick some super glue in that just to okay. try and. 
Try keep it together. Where you gonna shit, by the way. <laughs> Try and keep it together, yeah. <laughs> Might be turning a bowl out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or we could be on a bowl. So I'll just go drop a little bit of super glue in that, just a little bit of thin super glue. And I use O3A super glues. Um, you have really good service with these guys when you when you order it. Mind you, I better put a hole in it because that looked lovely turn wood to turn, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, it is actually. It's very nice. Very yeah, easy. Turn is in. My mark. Peter Kelly is in. Oh, it's still not coming out of there. Come yeah. on. Good evening. That'll be my fault because I cut the top off that. But never fear. We've it's got another one. one there. Robert Portwood is in. Now, I know this might stain this, this a wee bit, but that'll not matter because I'm colouring it anyway. Just let that go into that crack. Adam, I love wood turnings during this. Good evening, hey, Adam. 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 A little crack up there. Oh, the old chat's going fast tonight. God, there's loads mm. of them. Yeah, it is. Oh, dear. Know, you could be one. turning super glue tonight, Brian. <laughs> well, that's right, yeah, it's kind of it's like it, isn't it? <laughs> I knew there was a little cracks in the end, but I thought they might have just been in just a tiny little bit, you know? But there seemed to be a little bit more in than I suspected. Did you get that piece from William? Because, you know... Yeah, no. You usually get... I did, actually. Yeah, was, yes, he, yes. He, he, he said he did send me that, but, but it was in a great big long bit, and I cut it. So it's uh, probably my fault for not yeah. sealing the ends properly. I'll take the blame, William. It's okay, man. <laughs> Question: Is it O3A CA UK CA? Yes, it is. It is right. Or, or did O1 and O2 fail? I have no idea. I'll be Ben again. I take it, is it? No tracks. So just wipe off any excess there. No I sound at the moment, says up. Peter Kelly. No Can sound. everybody else hear us? Test, test. Yeah. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Oh, I've not read everybody Wait. out and nobody's heard. Do, do you want me to sing? <laughs> Mark says he only got home an hour ago and he's been Yeah, Todd says he can hear it, okay. Todd says he can hear us. Yeah. All right, that's okay. Just you then, Peter. Peter. Check your mute uh, button. Reboot, reboot your computer. Or, or check your mute button. Who, oh, me? You... No, no, no. Peter. 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 He says he can't hear nothing, but everybody else can hear us. So that little that there. little bit there has got a terrible cut on it, so I'm just going to recut it. And see can I better, get a bit of better cut. Hmm. Pete Twisted Tree's got a question. He says, do you have a replacement deal with William, i.e. one crack blank, three cord bowls? That's the one. You Equals got three cord bowls. Brian gets um, uh, William seconds. Yep, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah. Evening, Paul Kavanagh. Hi, Paul. Hi, Paul. Good Welcome evening. along, buddy. Hello, Paul. Now, if any of you have got any nice questions for Susie the Swiss Wood Turner, she's here. Go for it. Ask away. Yeah. She <laughs> said she would answer any questions. We don't reason. know how long she's here for, mind, but she's <laughs> been on her internet. <laughs> yeah, that's true. She. What I'm finding funny is because Susie normally asks about a hundred questions in her life and she ain't said a thing yet. Ah, well, because she's on the camera now, she isn't she? She can't get a word in edgeways, that's why. That's because you I'm keep shy, talking. that's why. I'm shy. <laughs> no, you're what? not shy. Well, you're not shy in the chat. Yeah, it's different, though. I don't, I don't think she's all that shy, boys. No. <laughs> Just How long have you been wood turning? Too. Three years now. Oh, so longer than me. But in my first year, because of COVID, I didn't. I only did my um, the wood turning beginners course, and I didn't have access to a to a, a workshop. So really, on a regular basis, I've only been turning about a year and a half now. I can use uh, the workshop of a friend who has the everything you could possibly want with, for wood turning. I don't own anything other than wood and abrasives and stuff of of course 
Uh, yeah, yes, Tor yes, Todd, I can send you some Swiss chocolate, but only over the over uh, the internet. So you have to imagine eating it. Well, she, yeah, while well, you eat it. Uh, I'll give you a nice box of various different Swiss chocolates. Can you taste it? Lovely. So yes, Mark. Mark, I, I, I like, say, Mark's like asked you a question. Yes, Mark. I do have heated grips on my motorbike, and I was using the heated grips today because it was, was rather right? cold on top of the mountain. <laughs> yeah. You need to make up the mountain. Oh, that's bad, great. The best type of cheese to turn? Um, <laughs> I, I would they're say Oppetzaller. Very... Oppetzaller cheese would be the perfect choice, I would say. They're very cheeky. <laughs> Hi, Douglas. And we've got Roy the Boy in as well, guys. So Roy the Boy's here. Uh, let me just... Uh, yep. me just and he's, he's rather quiet as well. So oh, this, yeah. this is this I'll is Roy the boy. Look, I've just put my full screen. That's, that's <laughs> that's 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 so this is Roy the boy. Uh, do you have any questions for him? Fire away. He's good. this is the guy with two million views. So on TikTok <laughs> and on his other YouTube channel. And just so just so because you really didn't see Susie before. This is Susie. There you go. Susie was supposed to move down. We've got another new person in the chat called Oh No, It's Andy. Oh, no, well, we know who that is, don't we? Evelyn, ladies and gentlemen, plus Terry. I'm you know, assuming I know who that is. Right, I'm just going to um, cut a bit of this out with the first one. <laughs> Paul, I'm not close to ski resorts. I'm close to mountains um, and mountain passes. The closest ski resort would be maybe 20 minutes, half an hour away. And as I only have a one-bedroom flat, it's a bit uh, not really practical to have guests. Ward, my bike is a Suzuki V Strom DL650. What other right. questions it's, have I That's got? quite a tall bike, isn't it? Yes, but it's uh, very handy to go off road. You can use it on road and off road. So that's why I chose it. Okay, fair enough. Gary Gl Glass has asked me do I have heated handles on my skew? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The answer to that is probably no. <laughs> nah. It might be handy if you have an, a well, non-heated workshop. He's been making handles well, today, haven't you, Roy? I have been making some handles. Hi, Harvey. Yeah. What did you buy oh, then, no, Roy, to make it's handles? Not the woodwork well, the two tools it? I showed you earlier, the um, Fred Chaser. I've lost my diamond card from oh, yeah. Ashley Isles. Yeah. And a free 16th spindle gouge. Uh -huh. from I, was only, I knew what they were, but I was making your answer for the chat, you see. Oh, I see. Right. So they can they debate yeah. then. <laughs> so well, as for heated handles, heated heated grips on my handles, uh, the way I use a, a skew, they um, they will be yeah. heated. So I'm finished with them. <laughs> well, the air will be heated. One of the two. Yeah, well, something will. <laughs> I seem to have misplaced my it. diamond card. Mark's having to pop out and get some chicken for his dinner. Back in a bit. Enjoy. And he says, I'd, I would need a step ladder to get on Susie's bike. Oh, no, I don't think I would. I'd need one of those high ab builders lorries to lift me up. <laughs> high and drop me down on it. Yeah. <laughs> so Last time I rode a motorbike, I through was, this and see what oh, I mean, let me think. So speed down to about 400, four or 500 thereabouts. 64 how, uh, years how ago. How big is the fast in a bit? This Fosner bit is, I can't remember, I'll measure it for you. 40 mil. Uh, Gary Glass says uh, he mil. uses his skew for turning burgers on his barbecue. Yeah. 50 mil, let me just check that. <coughs> it doesn't leave much bit, do. Last time I rode a motorbike was 64 years ago. Yes, Lucy. Oh, no, it's the last time I was on a, a road bike, I should say. Hi, Jade Leach is in. Good she has gone here. Yeah. And Hodgepodge is in. Yeah. And a Robert. And, uh, Hodgepodge. David Vaughan is in. Yes, we've uh, said a lot, isn't it? Walt says Andrew would need a uh, step stool. To reach the keep stand. <laughs> You're daddy, boy. 
Sorry, Brian, what'd you say? Did you and Terry both? If Terry needs a step yeah. ladder, reach the keys. Yeah, I'd... I'm only five foot nine. <laughs> With stilts? No, five foot nine. You know that, Roy, because I look down at you. <laughs> you five foot nine? You're not five foot nine. You're more like no, five foot am. eight. I am. Same as. It's just all my friends are 16 foot tall. Ah, like right. Pete okay. and... Well, I must be six foot in. Brent Brico must... has joined us. <laughs> yeah. Hi, you're Brent. Hungry, you're having a laugh now. Where's, my tooth? Where's Michelle's toothbrush? There it is. <laughs> you don't need to be tall anyway to be invincible, Roy. I'm a little bit of beeswax. Hi, Kev. Kev, Kev. thank you for Just to then. lubricate that a little Good bit. Good evening. Push that into there. Andrew, the favorite thing I have turned is probably a bowl, sycamore. It's my the largest bowl I've turned so far. It's actually the one behind me on the, on the cam, on the webcam. Ah. You'll see it again at the end. What about you? Same Roy? question to you, Roy. Is it? That it. was the same Where question from? to you. Go on in. You read it. I can't see it. Christine and Michael Hesseltine has joined us. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. That you've turned. What's the f your favourite thing you've turned so far? What have I, oh, my favourite thing I've turned so far. Um, it's got to be that bow I did um, when I copied. Uh, what, the painting? Oh. Turner. She came down to our club and uh, the oh, next the day blue I copied ball. it. No, no. This no. was the black one with the... Um, Shimmering lines in it. Um, I don't remember yeah, seeing that. Well, the other two. Look for that. Yeah, the other two. See? I haven't got that one here now. That's gone. I sold them two. Sold it, did you? Oh yeah, they sold last year. And um, good man. The man that bought it, he liked it that good. Uh, he sent his sister down to the show thing we were doing at the club and asked me to make another one, so I made another one. Me and my favourite oh. Hobbit friend, Ruby Claire, says, remember, guys, oh. dynamite comes in small packages. But did say the says, other ones was it the, was so the blue poison. bowls, I reckon, were good. So I'm just taking this in about 20 mil at a time, guys, and then making sure I've got a... I'm cleaning out the the bit so it doesn't jam in there. <coughs> Question, it's Brian. Not, it's not a pleasant experience when it jams in. Question for you, Brian. What is yes, the man. optimum spigot, please, for an SC3? Uh, from Norman Greenwell, he took a trip to Snainton's at the weekend, so I'll take it. He's bought one. An SC3 yeah, chuck. I think he yep. did tell him to spig it. Mm, Give me a you know what's the recommended size? Who uh, turning okay. with Barry is in? Welcome. The optimum Hello, Barry, size Barry. would be... All right, Barry. Um, get my very out. There was a question here from Pete. I don't know if anyone... 45 to 48 mil. So 47, then. Uh too many, too many Pete, shavings behind that. Trees. Roy was right. just about to ask. Too many shavings behind that force in a bit. Be careful, Ryan. Well, that's why Pete's I'm stopping every notice. 20 centimetres. Pete, yeah. Pete's taking notice. We're not. But, you know. Well, the chat's going that fast. It's flying. 85 yeah. people watching, Brian. Oh, well nice. 85? Oh, goodness gracious. Thank you very much, guys. Yeah. Well, if everyone really shares th it out on their uh, YouTube, we probably have... 385 in here. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Only 31 people have done so, so far. Oh, is that all? I'm guilty of that. 32 you, now. You get after them, Susie. 33 now. <laughs> Susie's yeah. keeping count. Yeah. And she knows, who, she knows every yeah. one of you, so she knows the yeah. one that hasn't. And 37 Susie, now. <laughs> and Susie 38. said she was quiet. See, it's all coming out now, isn't it? It's all coming out now, it's right, boys. I'm warming up. <laughs> <laughs> 43 thumbs up now. Good. We'll turn Barry's Barry not, says he's just watching. Yeah, not too Barry's well tonight. Trouble yeah. breathing tonight. Yeah. Trouble breathing tonight. I'm sorry to hear that, Barry. Yeah. Sorry about that, Barry. Sorry 40, to hear that. Take, take another 40 mil out of this. What was that? Sorry. It's... Barry, we're turning to Barry's. I'm in uh, trouble breathing tonight. Breathing. He's not very well. So. 
So he's not going to be entering oh. into the chat much, I think. He's just watching. He's, just he's watching. not going to be yeah. chatting in. So Kev, we need to go another 40 mil, guys. Another 40 mil? Yep, so another 20 mil on this, this turn. So I'm watching the counter on my tail stop. Stephen, just try it out. And that's 20. It's easy, Stephen. You hit the thumbs down. That removes the thumbs up, replaces it. Yeah. No, you can just press the thumbs up again, and it takes <laughs> it off. Press the thumbs down, thumbs up twice. <laughs> Ruby that's says. Not, that's not why not. Ruby says she wants to uh, just remind folks that record power demo with Theo will be on Wednesday. This Wednesday and coming. Free, and it's a free yes. demo, everybody. Yeah, it's very good. Theo's very good too. I like Theo. Are you here, Ruby? Ruby? And the wood do I think Ruby's going to be on at some point as well. Ruby's going to be on at some point as well. She's too. Uh, you know. One more. You, you tell so we'll us when you're on. Ruby. Time just to keep us right. I have to say, Brian, you, you, when you first turned that with that bowl gauge, the shape of it, you've you done really well, I think. I've never thought of using a bowl gauge to do a spindle. Using a bowl gauge yeah. to turn the spindle? Yeah. Tim, uh, Tim from TF Turning is in. Good evening. Good evening, Tim. Tim. I mean, I'm quite happy to use bowl gouges on spindle work, mm. but not so much happy the other way around. No. Um, I'd rather not use a spindle, except to maybe to take off the foot on a bowl, but I would never try and turn that anything in a bowl with a spindle gauge, because I'm not strong enough, really. Ward Wilson's got a question. He says, have I missed Susie's lives? No, Ward, you haven't missed Susie's lives. This is the third time Susie's been on camera. So <laughs> I can't get that off. Just I can't right get now. don't have the equipment to do lives. And also, nobody would want to see my lives. <laughs> Oh, I'm, still, I'm still that. a beginner. I'm still a beginner. Yeah, but I think lots the way to learn. To do it. Yeah, but it's learn. not a professional. Um, no. Lies aren't just for professional people. Just, just, for just as well, eh? <laughs> <laughs> They're for everybody. So regardless, yeah, let me just see how much at. I've got left there. Uh, where is the caliper? I just want to see how much you got left, just in the neck here. It's not very much. So I've got about uh, five mil at the neck. All right. So I can't take any more out of that. But what we'll do, I'll just leave, I'm going to leave the bottom, the inside. doesn't need to be hollowed out. And I'm just going to finish off this top, and then I'll need to s fix these cracks again. Reappearing, yes, are they? At yep. Kiff, yes. They have indeed. They're actually getting worse, but... Uh, no, I want to. Robert, I don't have the equipment for it. What do you need, Susie? Doesn't have the equipment for doing lives, you mean? Yeah. No, Susie's not set up Cause, for cause lives. Because Robert, Robert, Robert said that I should do it. Yeah, but she, Susie, you weren't listening, obviously, earlier. Susie doesn't have a workshop of her own. She turns in a friend's workshop. And it might be a bit, uh, bit of an imposition to say... Can I put cameras yeah, up in your workshop? <laughs> doing a live in your workshop. That's and do, it. <laughs> and do a live? Would you mind? A friend might say, yeah, we'll do it together. Boom. You never know. So I'm just going to go mm -hmm. to the spindle gauge now and try and take a bit off the, the rim here. Stephen, we'll I'm still waiting for your lives. That's a good answer to that question, Susie. Yeah. And I'm still waiting for William to do his lives. And that's another Ooh, good answer. See, yeah. you got no choice, you two, now, William. Stephen. Yeah, worm your way out of that situation. Yeah. Stephen the worm dude. So I'm got, not going to make this too thin here because the neck's only 5 mil on either side, so 10 mil on either side, or 5 mil on either side, but 10 mil in total. So I'll just kind of blend this together here a little bit. 
That's a nice little shaver. Nice controlled cut there, Brian. Lovely. Oops. A lot more vibration now. You spoke too soon there, uh, Cherry. Oh, that was gorgeous, that shaving coming off. Perfect speed. Alan Gibb is in. And Fred Gilliver. Hello, Fred. Hello, Alan. Hi, Alan. Hi, Fred. Hello, Fred. Need to get my tail sock out of the way a bit. Go on, Hi, Gary. Lay down there, William. Is, not, is, is Gary not in bed yet? So that chattering is because the tool's too far over the tool rest. No, William, your turnings are really great. I would love to see them live. Mr. G. I, I've been telling yeah. him that for weeks, but he won't listen to me. Mr. G. We've all been telling him, Susie. All of us. And, it's William, you've got wood. awesome wood. Every, anybody who has you should do lives, because I love watching you, you being turned. Oh, wait, you see the couple of big bits that I've got. Oh, ooh. Yeah, but she also likes watching you turn, William. <laughs> well, that's true. Uh, vacuum, that's what I want. Have you read what Pete says, uh, Susie? <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> well, if, 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 William gets his really cameras up and running by next it, Sunday, he could, could do a live. Is that what I mean? <laughs> Right, let's just do something with this rim. Oh, good thing for you, Pete. Terry's oh, got no excuse now for you to cover. I don't know what's going to be. At Kev, Kev, all female bikers should have long hair because then we, when you overtake another bike, then he can see it's a woman who has overtaken him. Oh, well, actually, I've, I've you, haven't, you haven't, you haven't, you haven't met Pete yet. Hair. You haven't met Pete yet. Yeah, you ain't met Pete, have you? Pete's hair is longer than yours. <laughs> I've got I've got short hair, but I do I do wear a pink helmet. Oui. Or I did. I'm not I've not been biking recently. I what bike have you got? To... I've not got one at the moment, but my husband's got a super dupe KTM. Oh awesome. Mm. That's what Glenn says. Awesome. In, in Switzerland, it would be a very expensive toy to have because in Switzerland, the, the speed, speeding fines are very high. And with a Super Duke, you, I think you yeah. would collect speed, speeding tickets all the time. Yeah. Yes, I agree with you. Just need you a little hole again. Uh, uh, the bike on. I had was a Honda um, 600 okay. uh, CBF. Mm -hmm. And then I went to a Suzuki. Um, it was the old teapot. Um, had a Ayabusa joint with my husband. It's been ages. I want, I want a tricycle now. Just stop Hard at the moment. I'm just trying to get this little Simon Hope cutter just right in the middle. Right there, so I'm just going to take a little bit off the inside just to make it look a little bit tidier than a saw cut, basically. Like for hogging out, Brian. Careful. What are you saying, mate? You know what they like for hogging out? Be a bit careful. Yeah, I know. Yeah, mind the middle bit. The neck. Or is it take word off so quick? It's. Uh, you think I'll Well, I've got the cutter off. set. I've got the cutter set. If you can see there at 45 degrees mm. to try and minimise what I'm taking off. And I'm just being very slow there. Take a nice little cut, and that's it at the bottom. Benjamin's in. <laughs> Mark's back. He's got the chicken in the air fryer. Beer open. He's got his feet up. I bet he's asleep before it finishes gun ping. I'm surprised you didn't get your chicken on your way home. You wouldn't have better go out again then, Mark. Kev, we're allowed to ride big bikes any time, day or night, weekend, weekdays. There's no restriction whatsoever. I didn't think there was any restrictions around the world anyway, is it? If it's riding in Belgium, there seems to be restrictions. Wow. Never heard of it. In Can Austria, they, they restri they're restricting certain, certain areas. Um, if you have a exhaust pipe that is a bit loud, you're not allowed to ride certain areas. Oh, yeah. But mm. 
Well, did you see on the news tonight now, some of the uh, 30 mile per hour areas, they're going to bring it down to 20. And this is the tool that I use for finishing inside, which is just a, it's a uh, sovereign system from uh, Robert Sorby. And this is what they call a French curve on the end. It's just a high speed steel scraper, basically. Uh, but it just takes away those little right. Sometimes you get little ridges with the Simon Hope. Turn the speed up a little bit. And just feel that across the bottom. Catching. There's something there for you, Susie, from the Woodsy. Stephen, um, I've got quite a bit of you here. That's probably the wood where I have the most of. But I would love to see photographs of your U-turnings. Yes, Brian Green, there are plenty of big bags in Switzerland. I'll try to get a nice clean cut with that. Malcolm Douglas is saying 20 mile an hour will be the residential speed limit areas uh, in all of Wales from September the 1st. By me. Right. Slow everybody down. Brian El Tenero de Madeira is in. Oh, oh Joe, you hello, Brian. It. I saw it, and I was waiting for um, Terry. You were waiting for a break, waiting weren't you? And I thought, I'm not going to stop. I'm going to just read it out. Yeah, yeah, now. yeah. Oh, Brian, there's a good question evening, here Brian. from Andy. Adam, why not using the Solby Steady Wrist? Because it's only, I'm only in sort of five inches, so it doesn't really need it. And it's nice, it's quite soft wood to cut. If it had been difficult wood, I would have, I, I would have used it, absolutely. Um, it's really handy for, for a little bit deeper than that, I have to say. There's when you're doing things. this, that hollowing, do you do it blind or do you actually turn your head and look inside? Well, I, try, I try and get all the way down there, Susie, if I can. So I do it by feel mostly, but then I, I, just coming to the end, you want to get in and have a, just a little look to see you haven't got any big ridges or anything. So you can look and, and I always inspect with my little NCIS torch. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Just to check that it looks okay, and that's fine in there. Just needs a little bit of sanding. And we'll start with... Did you see any light at the bottom? There's no light at the bottom, boys. We're not through the bottom. <laughs> yeah, he so saw we're... his torch bouncing back. So, so all good. All good. Getting parted off yet, mind. Have you screwed that plastic container just... to the wood? Hey, I wish you hadn't said that, Nick. <laughs> Oh, no, oh, Terry. Todd's got a question for you, Brian. What well, speed are you turning when using the long scraper? When I was using the long scraper, well, I never turned it down, so I'll switch it back on again. Um, fourteen hundred revs. Wow. And Barry's wood creations is in. Hello, Hi, Barry. Good evening, Barry. No, I'm okay, Terry. Good evening, Barry. You'll be pleased to hear, Terry. I'm, okay. I'm actually okay. You're fine. That's good. I'm just doing you know, do me. I'm... So turn the speed away down, because um, we don't want to turn. We don't want to turn fast when we're sanding. So there's uh, 600 revs will be fine. And I haven't switched the extractor on yet because we're inside the piece and there's nothing coming out yet. But I will in a second. The trick with sanding, guys, is don't heat up your sandpaper. Rob today, when, in uh, Paul's life today, Rob from Klingspoor said that the two biggest enemies of sandpaper, heat and water. So don't get it wet and don't overheat it. So that means don't be pressing too hard. And the other reason you don't want to press too hard is these little Great stick. These little pads, thing, yeah. you'll you'll rip the, you'll melt the glue in them. Yeah, I've ah. done that on the. Yeah, done that. Yeah, everybody's done it. I've got loads of them lying there that are in bits. We're, Brian, we're all guilty of it. Douglas Mangum is saying he watched your video on making the steady rest. Great informative video. Thank you for sharing. Thank you, Douglas. Appreciate that. There are a few little uh, mistakes in it. If you read the comments, uh, Ben was. Uh, 
Ben was really helpful and pointed out a couple of little things to me that I did wrong, uh, which I appreciate uh, and appreciate all the comments on my videos. If you've got something to add, add it. If you've got something you didn't like, let me know. Well, there's uh, a question here from old, no, it's Andy. He's asking, why did you make the steady rest so big? It made it to fit my big lathe. Right, so, so and Andy, yeah, the, the logic behind the size of the, the steady rest, okay? This lathe has got 10 inches from the, the, the center of the spindle to the bedway. Okay, so I can turn a 20 inch vessel on there if I wanted to. Hey, it's never going to, I'm never going to turn 20 inches. Well, never say never, eh? Bonsoir, Lionel. So if I put this on. And hi, Richard Phelan. The reason the, the outside circle was 20 inches <laughs> is so that the center of the steady rest is in line with the, the, the spindle. So if I bring that up there, the spindle is in the middle of the steady rest. So you can you can have equal pressure on the arms. And that's the reason it's as big as it is. If you have an eight inch lathe, you only need a 16 inch circle. That makes sense? No? See, see the other thing, Andy, is watch this space. He's going to be yeah. turning bigger pieces. <laughs> 20 inch hollow forms, yeah, not. Yeah. <laughs> not today, <No>. anyway. <laughs> I'm quite liking the way that that's looking on the inside now. Yeah, you might, that might be a three part, Brian. Right. Yeah, that, that, yeah three, three dozen parts, maybe. I mean, three, vid, uh, three lives. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. That's what I meant, three dozen videos. <laughs> uh, the 20, 20 Brian, all I, I also watched your Steady Rest video, but it uh -huh. hasn't arrived here yet. I'll check for right. tomorrow. <laughs> okay, mate. <laughs> They're, they're only 120 pounds each. If you want one, I'll soon make you one. You soon make you one, yeah. Have you seen the price of plywood these days, guys? And it's ridiculous, isn't it? It's horrendously expensive. Yeah. And if and I was to make a steady rest to... again, I would use, I would use a uh, one-inch ply. Yeah. Or two three-quarter pieces bolted together. Well, that is three. two three-quarter pieces now. That's what they are. An inch and a half. So there's an inch and a half there, basically, less any sanding and stuff. But if you made it out one inch, it would be much, much stronger. But I think they should be fine, to be honest. You'll know, Terry, because the, st the second one is yours. Mm -hmm. You can go home and tell you. can take it home in August and test it. I'll be doing that. William Kenny says that he is on the list beforehand. Before oh, yeah, so you are, William. You're, you're next on the list, William. And Pete is next after that. Although I think Brian, he said he was... <laughs> Brian will be doing lives, building steady rests. Yeah. Mondays, yeah. Thursdays. He can do one for me on Sunday. That'd be good. Well, if he carries on like that, Terry, he'll have a stand at Harrogate. Yeah. It, doesn't it doesn't take that much to build them. I don't, you know, it, at the end of the day, it's not that difficult. Let's be realistic. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Uh, Paul Kavanagh says, so how how would you make one for a 12-inch lathe? I'm confused. 12-inch lathe? That's, you, could you be make one to show me? Yeah, just make, make a 12-inch circle, yeah. Bigger. I think that's fine on the inside for now. I'll maybe revisit that on the inside, but I really want to get on with the texture on the outside for you. I'm not going to texture what the Paul inside. Was, what, what Paul was meaning, Brian, he said, yeah. uh, he said, can you can you make one to show me? I, I know, I know exactly what he was after. You know, you know what Paul's like. Yep. So I'm not. I haven't even bothered sanding the outside because we're going to texture it, and we'll sand it once we've textured it. Um, so let me just. Yeah, the overhead <laughs> camera. Uh, yeah. Put it overhead. Lucy says you got the new name, Brian. The new name. Steady wrist man. Steady wrist. It's the steady wrist. Uh, what was I going to do there? He's not invincible. He's I really want the sanding. I really want to sand and seal this and put some more super glue in those cracks. Well, you best super glue it if you're going to start whacking it with texturing tools. Yeah, they might actually stay together, actually. Okay. Actually, sand and sealer are holding right. together a bit. Won't it? We'll put a bit of sanding sealer on it and then we'll drop a bit of, um, and then we can, uh, 
have a look Gary, at that's that. probably what um, Brian's grandkids are wondering and all. What's this? What's this? What's this? Gary, Gary Glasses, his grandkids is, is wondering where the wheels from their roller skates blades went. I know. I, would I do something like that, boy? Snake, no, come on. <laughs> of course you wouldn't. Because uh, I mean, I actually Tempting went. As it is. I, I actually went and bought a box, like, and I was going. I was going to throw these away, but then I thought, oh, there's a spare one. So one spare for me, one spare for Terry. The problem is, you only get eight in a box. So you're always going to have a couple left over. There you go. They came from Amazon. Cheap as chips. Brian, Oops. Rob Excuse from me. Copper Owl is saying nice shape, Brian. Thank you, Rob. I was hoping somebody would say that. We did say that earlier. We said when you first turned it. Yeah. When I asked you, I had to ask he you. Says first. A great you shape. didn't volunteer the information, did you? No, 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 no. It was asked. It was volunteer before. Yeah. As soon as you finished turning it, wasn't it, Roy? Yep. Mm -hmm. I don't believe it to you. Yeah. We said that. None of the two, yeah. Well, sure. e e even I said, did I? Because I, I love the way even, you even, turned it using the yeah. ball gouge. Oh, yeah. and you said it was a lovely shape. Well, so it's quite a heavy piece of wood, and there's a big knot in it. So your little spindle gouge might have just kind of continually bounced off that knot. So that's why I used the spindle there, the uh, ball gouge. It's easier coming down the way with a gouge than it is going up the way. So don't use a small, thin gouge on a bowl because it's going. Um, end grain, cross grain, end grain, cross grain, and it's just, it's not the right tool for the job to be truthful. S Stephen is asking if you're going to do it black and yellow. No, Stephen. The wood dude's got to go, he's got to go and cook. He's got to see, see, Stephen, see, see, see in about an hour. hour. <laughs> You've got your pasta or your lettuce and tomato sandwich. He says, make sure you're updating him with the colours, would it be black and yellow? Yeah, His mum will not. be cooking for him. His mum will be cooking, he's just got to no, go and eat. No, I don't think so. Stephen has to cook his own. It's only special occasions. He, and he, he wants got, plum. Uh, didn't, didn't he get lasagna last night because she cooked too much? <laughs> too right, much yeah. plum. Andy, the wood Andy. woodwork learner. I uh, never said a word, Brian. <laughs> Not yet. That makes a change, right? Plum. <laughs> so I'm just going to let that dry a little bit. I'm basically going to sand that bike off again. As Boney M used to say, wouldn't it? Lump, lump. I would use some shavings to burnish this, but I haven't got very many. They're not really shavings. It won't work. Yeah, you're right, it won't. Yeah. So we just have to use one of these white pad, or these uh, orange pad things. One of these. There's some people call web racks pads. Web racks, yeah. Web racks. Well, that's just a manufacturer, and there's lots of different yeah. manufacturers. It's just an abrasive pad. Mm. At the end of the day, that's all it is. Some people use them washing their dishes. I do right. Well, the green one that you get on the little sponge is exactly the same thing. Mm. But that's ah, one right. of the that's one of the coarser things. So they use these in on polishing machines and the likes of hospitals and schools and stuff like that. You know the big floor polishers that they have. Yeah. So the white one is just a polishing pad, and then everything else is just a different level of abrasive. So when you Roy, get, uh, sorry, when, Rob yeah, of Kingsford says it's called Scotch Bright or Bear Tex non-woven, all, all lots all of brand, brand names. names. Yeah. And does Rob sell it? I don't know. He might tell us. Uh, well, that's why I asked him. <laughs> I'm kind of yeah. hoping he's going to might, tell us. He might tell us now. He okay, might, might even put. He might even post a sample package to us all. <gasps> <laughs> that's that's you living hope again, Terry. Just take that. Yes, 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 we do indeed. Sells in sheets and rolls. So samples are are being sent out. Hopefully, well, samples are being collated, collated as we speak. <laughs> Just send five pound postage. Hmm. Missed you at um, Newark, Rob. Thought you was going, then you was cancelled, didn't you? So I'm just going to put a line on here, or three or four lines. 
Oh, it doesn't matter. He's just added that it will be a growing list of freebies for Arrogate. <laughs> Not asking for freebies, buddy. Just <laughs> send me some, send the invoice. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, that's the same here. We Mark is saying if, if Rob keeps se se sending mm. out samples, nobody will buy them from him. He'll be getting psyched. That's what he'll be getting. <laughs> That's what I was giggling at. Oh, yeah, the good old I'm doing this every two on my uh, text on my indexing <laughs> system. Good evening, Martin Floyd. Oops. Hi, Martin. I used to work in the dark, you Rob. Um, I did a five-year apprenticeship back in 1967. Woo. So you'll notice that I'm morning. using this flat table and I'm using a yeah. flat pencil and I'm keeping the pencil the same way up every time just in case it sharpened a little bit off-center so as we can get the, the right... Well, what was that I just did? Oh, no. That was eight, so we're on to ten now. Twelve. Sometimes if it moves. God, I wish I had a stool. <laughs> Rob says he loves the dockyards. It's like a big boys' engineering. Oh yeah, yeah. I used to work in the um, in the engineering department, and one of the machines I worked on was a hundred foot long, and had a chuck on it, ten foot diameter. Wow. That, that was that was the prop shaft. Yard. Yeah. Yeah, that shot. must have been some fun, boys. It dangerous, though. Dangerous, yeah, way dangerous, say. yeah. But if you behave and follow the rules, you'll be okay. A bit like wood turning, yeah? Well, I survived, so I'm still here. Well, well, you're still here, and you've got all your fingers, too. Amazing. All my fingers, got me indentured paperwork as well, so I actually passed the test. Got distinction in engineering as well, just to let everybody know I'm invincible. <laughs> you are invincible, <laughs> Terry. <laughs> Terry the Invincible. Terry the Nutcase. Yeah. Richard Phelan wants to know whether William has been sacked. What, what? Well, he's getting <laughs> close to it, isn't he? Really? Yeah. No, he's not been Does sacked. He, no. He should not be yet. doing lives. No, he's not been sacked. It's just uh, we we have had to make room tonight <laughs> for for Susie and uh, Roy to come in just for a bit of variety in the old chat. I did say that I would try and bring random people in from the chat. So these are the first two, and uh, we'll do it again if anybody else wants to volunteer. Yep. Shoot me a shoot me a private message or a DM as they call them now. Oh, where'd that come from? A yeah. DM? Direct message. A direct message instead of a private message? I don't know. I don't know. I must be getting old or something. Now, I need to think about how I'm going to text this. Brent, Brent's got it right. He says, we all do lives, just as some of us don't have cameras. That's true. That's true, Brent. All do lives in your, your own little in... workshop. Hi, Lewis. Hello, Lewis. One of the craftsmen's come in. Hello, you know, you are late. Oh, I took that away. He's been so working hard all day. Hello, Lewis. This is just a little, just to give me a little bit of a guide. Thirds. That's roughly thirds, I hope. Has it moved? No, I don't think so, has it? That's just, the pencil didn't mark some of the one side of it at the bottom or the middle. Oh, did it? Ben, ben Jamming oh, right. well, saying. Oh, right. you're right, I didn't. No, no, the, no, the oh, middle, yeah. the middle, that's it. Oh, there's where it's bit, missing yeah, it. I see yeah. that. Uh, well, it has actually touched it. It's just a faint line. There. That's over the notch. It's maybe just a bit hard. Ben Jammin is saying, I don't want anybody to get jealous, as that's not the intention, but my new long-reach cleaning brush has just arrived. I'm pleased for you, Ben. Well, as soon as the live's over, Ben, you'll go clean. I'm delighted. I'm delighted for you, Ben. D Douglas. Oh, I'll, just do I'll, just do this. I'll just do this by eye. So the first Douglas. tool I'm going to use is this protection. So this is a micro motor. <sighs> This a yeah, little micro motor supplied and by supplied wood, by is wood woodcraft. Is that what they're wood called? Art. Woodcraft. Wood art. Wood, wood, art. wood art. I think we might have one of those from the weekend. And what I'm going to start with is I'm going to start with this little thing. What I've got on here 
know if you can see that or not. I've got little diamond cutting wheels. They're lovely, yeah. But there's two of them. So there's one on either side, and in between, there's a little spacer. Okay? So we shall see what we shall see. Let me just move that out of the way. And I'll just lock that in a place. Oh, no, I'll just hold it. Gary Glass has just said, Brian, he said, these lives are a font of knowledge. I've always wondered what DM stood for. <laughs> Hold on. So do most of us, Gary. So I'm just going to make random shapes here. In a controlled fashion. Douglas was asking me what made me start wood turning. Yeah. And the reason that is, um, I've got a grandson who's autistic and he's got learning problems. Uh, he's, a, he's four now, but he only really loves toys made from wood. So right. I started making, because I had a um, scroll saw here and started making those wooden blocks you can buy, you know, the ones with sort of... Oh, yeah. And... I found it really hard to try and turn the round ones. So I've, mm -hmm. I've got onto YouTube, as you do, and yeah. saw this wood turning. Oh, and I've, I'll do the I just watched one. a few of those, and I thought, oh, yeah. I told uh, my wife, Diana, I said, you yeah, know, I'll see if I can buy one of these little things. Little, but I haven't got a little one here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what you see. You yeah. say to you say to die and you say, "Well, I need it because of our grandson, so I need a really, you know, proper lathe." Yeah. <laughs> How long did the little one last? Um. Well, as you say in that, the little one was actually bigger than this one because it was second hand. Right. So an old raised drive sip one. Um. But I did get some. Um, I put a thing on. Was it? I joined the Wood Turning UK. That was it. And asked on there, you know, where can I learn to sort of do, you know, where does someone learn to do wood turning? And there was a bloke asking, you know, people ask, where are you and what area? So I put what area? And then there was a bloke who came back and he said, um, well, you're not too far from me. Uh, why don't you come down and just have a look? So I yeah. went down there. And it wasn't, it was only about a 20 minute drive. And he, um, he's in a wheelchair. So he's got his um, lathe in his garage. So he just sort of showed me the ropes, sort of thing. But I, I had to learn sitting down. Now I've just had, I can hear four Air Force jets going over. I don't know if you heard them or not. Um, no, I've never heard of them. They'll be here any second. Yeah. Um, yeah. So he got me making um, a snowman. And he said to me, oh, you're a natural here. So after I'd done that, I went out and bought this second air. Well, I got lucky because I was in the local pub and chatting to a bloke about it. <laughs> and he said, oh, my brother was selling a lathe set up. Perfect. So the next day we went, to, which was that was, a, that was on a Friday. So the next day we went down there and uh, on the Saturday and I ended up coming back with it. Oh, there's another few going over. Oh, they're loud. Um, the same one come on back again. <laughs> yeah. So Lewis, the Klondike craftsman, is asking, who is the new voice? Well, we've got two new voices, Lewis. The one you've just heard is Roy. Roy's the boy. And the young lady is Susie, the Swiss wood turner. Yes, for this evening. For this evening? Yep. Yeah. Serious question. Sometime. Serious question there, Roy. How did the chap that showed you in the wheelchair have his lathe set up because Joe's wanting to set her lathe up because she's can't stand for too long. Well, he's got his, his lathe is set up on a bench. Um, which was so his chair goes right his, underneath. His son made, made a bench. It's like what mine is. Mine sit on the bench for me uh, right. rather than the legs because if I had the legs uh, with this lathe I've got now, mm. Uh, it would have been too tall because right. the first lathe I had, uh, the, the legs on that was too tall for me as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, um, 
Yeah, so I've got mine on a bench, which yeah. um, Barry helped me make as well. And we made it because I bought some chest of drawer units and I've used the drawers from them. So we made the bench around the, them drawers and so they fit in it, yeah. nicely. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah, so, okay. yeah, so he, he's, he's got his set up with, um, he's using the Simon Hope MIDI Pro. Um, he did have it. He's got the extension on it as well, which wasn't set up yeah. right. So I actually set that, leveled that up for him. Mm -hmm. um, and he's got his extractor on wheels, just to like a. Pull it in when he wants to use it and take it yeah, out again. He, he, he can move it around to wherever he needs. So when he wants to clean the floor up, he, he's got uses the long pole, and he still can use his. Um, do it in his wheelchair. And I tell right. you what, he is really, really good wood to Yeah. Yeah. There, Joe, uh, Fred Giller is saying, Joe, you get an adjustable bar still. He's, Fred's disabled. And that's what he uses, and it works for him. Yeah, I'd not even thought of that. Well, that's what I use I'll because of my problems of having me hip and me back. So I bought one of those, uh, just press a button and up it goes and down, you know. That's, that's what I and open lives with yeah and i have to say he, he's adapted him his way of turning to him yeah to see. And yeah yeah because he uses really long handles and yeah i mean i tried you well he's i use he's, he's got all simon hope tools because he can adjust the handles for when he needs them and yeah because of it yeah yeah i just sort of i let's say i learned really sitting down mm. you know um, I did find it a bit hard, but when I've got my own one. But once you adapt yourself to turning that way, you know, obviously a few limitations, but you get over those, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Roger Kent's got the idea for you, Joe. Robust, so a universal lathe stand at tilt. So get Glenn on to that. Doug Bennett's in the chat. Could someone kindly okay. provide a link for the disc Brian is using now, please? Um, we really can't do that, but Brian can in a minute if you give him ten to get away. Okay. That's just two discs connected together, isn't it? Like yeah, he can't yeah. hear us at the moment. I'll, I'll, I'll show you in a moment. I think that's what he said before. He had two yeah. discs. There's two discs with a little piece, space around it. I'll show you in a minute. I'll take it apart and let you see it. The little discs are available from Amazon. Uh, and I'll put the link in the description of this video uh, for tomorrow. If you want. But they're just little Dremel type, Dremel type, um, diamond cutting discs. That's all they are. You can buy them Chris from Bailey's Woodworks is in. Who's that? Chris. Evening. Chris, Chris from Bailey's Woodworks. Hi, Chris. Hi, Chris. Adam, I love word turning, says one of the best lives for seated turning is the VL200, currently on sale on eBay for an excellent price. And it's okay. heavy duty and it tilts. Okay. So there's lots of options, Thanks, Joe. Adam. Yeah, seems to be, doesn't it? Just so, right so Joe is going to start a live turning soon? Oh, well, she I'm got all the right kit. She's just, she just waiting for Glynn to set it all up for her, but you know. We gotta get it. She 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 can't stand very well, can you, Joe, for too long? So she wants to no, sit I down. Can't. And turn. No, and then, um, So if we can get something set up for her to sit down and turn, she'll be there. Oh yeah, I can't, I'd love to get started. Actually making something. Mm. I'm just trying to put One a way. sort of definition line around there, so huh. that it looks like I've I've had an idea. Huh. Huh. And I purposely left it not without any texture on it, so we can still see that. But the texture will highlight it a little bit. Mm. That's a good idea, that is, Brian. Yeah, Douglas Mungham, yeah, it, it can restrict your movement, but you, if, if that's the only way you can turn, you learn to adjust and turn different methods whilst sitting. Mm. There are some restrictions, of course. 
In other words, you don't get much chance of getting out of the way if a bow flies off and that comes at you. But you know, you learn not to do that. No, here comes a big boy. That's the old uh, carbon, carbon, uh, what's the name? Carbide tipped. Carbon Good evening, blade. Steve Fleming. Good evening, Steve. Oh, Steve. So I'll just let you see that. Brooks on long, long neck grinder with an Arbitec uh, two, two cutter uh, on it. Carbon tip. And that's the Carbi fact Carbide tip. Yeah. Carbide tip, yeah. Well, Jennifer, I know two women now because you done a live yourself the other day. Yes, she, did. she did. She did. Yes. And very good she was too. Yeah. Jennifer says she only knows one lady, one woman that does lives wood turning, but she done herself and she done pretty well. Yeah, I think she did well too. Yeah, I've seen Jennifer do lives. So we've got to be careful here, I don't catch the bottom of this. Mm. I met up with uh, Jennifer at Newark the other day. That's it, yeah. She, she was sitting there watching Mark. Emma. Yeah. yeah, we had good fun with Jennifer and Mark at uh, Harrogate last year. Yep. <laughs> was it Harrogate or was it when we were up at Glen's, wasn't it? Is that Glen's? Is that, uh, no, Harrogate. We went to dinner with them, didn't we, Harrogate? No, was that not when we were at Glens? No, it was at the Premier in Arrogate when I, I unfortunately leave uh, for uh, the Premier Inn. I'll rearrange the furniture so we could have a table of about 12 of us. <laughs> no, that, was, that, no, that wasn't that. Yeah. That wasn't how to get. No, it wasn't. Which, what? No, nope. you, he, did, he did have a. He ordered. He had a small table at first, but when me and. Um, That's correct. Diane and but if you recall, back, back. Uh, if you recall, Terry, when we were at, oh no, that uh, was yeah, uh, Scarborough. Well, yeah, Scarborough. We were at Scarborough. And and I, you remember the little waitress girl? Yep. I knew you would remember that. Oh yeah, she was lovely. If I was sick, if I was, uh, you know, we were, uh, if I was fifty years younger, she'd be in trouble. <laughs> Brian. Yes. R Ruby Claire wants to know, why did you draw lines if you don't follow them? Well, I'm drawing the lines so that I can kind of keep it straight, Ruby. So so if you look at the lines, are kind of parallel down here. <coughs> They're just guidelines is all. To try and keep the thing straight rather than kind of twisting and going all over the place. Got you. I did actually follow a bit of the line. There. All the way around there, I put a little wavy line in. But then I decided I didn't, that was enough of that. <laughs> so we're just kind of doing it freehand now. Lucy says they've booked their room for Harrogate. Hey, girl. Which hotel did you get, Lucy? Well, they'll be going to our house, will they? Well, an Airbnb. Airbnb, that's what they did for Airbnb. New York. Which sounds like an eminently sensible thing to do. Yeah, we booked our hotel too. Yeah, no, I'll yeah, put mine before I left. Well. I'll put mine before so. I left last time. Hey, Brian, you, Brian, you only need nine more people. For what? For 100, 100. people in. Oh, brilliant, guys. You've got 91. Tell your grannies to get in. Tell your grandmas <laughs> and granddads to get their Tell your get grannies and YouTube's granddads to get in here. So we break the 100. That would be an achievement. I can't see how many likes there are at the moment. But I can see 55. Oh, 94 now. 55. 55 on, only. Chap Chaps and chap asses. Hit the like button. Yep, you've got 94 now, bro. I think that'll do. 94 people watching. Wow, that's amazing, guys. Thanks so much. Really, adds. I do appreciate it. Oops, must I've just dropped a plug on the floor. Be, must be rubbish on television. Yeah, nothing on the Monday night, is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> I need the soaps. That's why I'm in here. So that's the texture, <laughs> really. And what I'll do is I'll just give that rub with a bit of um, 120. Uh, in fact, we'll go with 180. A little bit of 180 sandpaper and then 240. And a little bit of 400. Just to take any fuzzies off the top. 
I can get rid of the pencil marks. Again, trying not to heat up our sandpaper. The Bundy Rose have booked at the premiere in South. So oh. they'll be where oh. everybody oh, no. That's going oh, to be Oh, no. We haven't got to put up with them as well, have we? God. That's, that's where I'm going. Do. Good yeah. evening, Mark Wettington. That's another one. Hi, Mark. Good evening, Mark. Hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. Yeah. Well, I feel sorry for you, sorry. But the kids are all right. It's just the parents. It's, it's the adults, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. And Kev at 9K wants to share with the Bundy Rose. Done <laughs> <laughs> uh, to speed up a little bit, I think. So that's it. I'm standing now at 750 revs. Which is plenty fast for sanding. More, well, more than fast, really. You don't have to go that speed if you don't want to. Well, you don't really need to go faster than that. Just to let you know, Brian, it's, it's 18 minutes past eight. There's no rush. Okay, you know thank you. Time. This will be 400 grit. Now, what I need to oh, do is look. turn off the bottom a little bit more. Seeing as I'm taking some of the weight off it. And we'll sand that too. So we'll just bring in the the tail stock again. Are you doing it all tonight? The colouring and everything? Or are you going to yeah, do it? Yeah, of course he is. No, I I'm do going it to do it. Yeah, the colouring is going on now in a minute. Lucy Bundy Row wants to know who's up for babysitting. <laughs> oh, yeah. not, not, not me. I hate not children. Me. Yeah. yeah. I don't hate well, children. Don't like is, uh, Lucy. <laughs> I don't like yes, children very uh, much. Um, we got four Brian granddaughters that's living up here. Lines. Yes, he did. Uh, take your time, Brian. We got four granddaughters living up here. Three of them are eight years old, and the other one's 13. So yeah. I've got 10 when, grandkids. When they come to stay, all hell breaks loose. It's bedlam. Bedlam. Yeah, Christmas ain't cheap for me. No, what is it, isn't it? I know. Ten, ten yes, you did, Mark. She answered the question. He answered the question. Yeah. Isn't what? About the lines. Yeah. They're just guidelines, there, just to give you an idea. I kind of just let my... I hate to say this because it sounds really pretentious. <laughs> I just let a little bit of artistic flair take over and go for it. Yeah. Lines are there as a guideline, just a artistic impression, mate. And as you are the creator of your art, you can do what you like. This is true. So that should be okay for the shape of the bottom, I think. What do you think there, Terry? Can you see the overhead of that? Are you, are you I can see that's a nice shape, Brian. Just a little bump where where you're flattening it out against your just, texture, just, just yeah. tiny but Yeah, that's it. Not too well, much. I meant the texture there, so I can't do much. It's there. almost perfect there. Lovely. So that'll be fine. We've got a, a kind of natural, yep. but I might actually put that's a line good. around. No, I won't put a line around there. No, let it just flow in. No, I just let it flow. And I'll just give that a look. In fact, if you really this. wanted to, Brian, you could get a V chisel, carving chisel, and just carve it a little bit around. I could. You know, just to, on, not all of them, but, you know, just a few. Just, just to let it, you know. Well, you mean bring these down, like? Yeah, just carve them down. It's like, not all of them, just the random ones, you know, just to say it, it can it. Mm. It's up to you. I'll we'll leave it for now. Okay. And see how it turns out with the, with the colours on it. So I want to move on to the colours, really. That's a shame, Robert. Do... Robert Brown Would... says he, he didn't think he could make Harrogate. Oh, oh yeah, you'd, you'd like Robert. Uh, Robert, well, we did. Like we, we, I did get to meet Robert at uh, Newark, so that was quite nice. Yeah, Wood dude says there's nothing wrong with. Wood dude says there's nothing wrong with kids. You just have to know how to cook them properly. That's exactly right. <laughs> I, I don't mind. I don't mind children as long as they can walk and talk, and know what yes yeah. and no means. Mm. <laughs> If they don't know what yes and no, no means, don't bring them to me. 
not interested. I'm just tidying up because I don't want to get the shavings in the colours. So a quick rough tidy up there. Robert Beltwood says he loves kids, but he just can't eat a whole one. Yeah. That's it. Now, colours. Colours. Oh, well, somebody's going to say plum, aren't they? Yeah. Somebody's plum. bound to say plum. Plum, plum. Your bum's a plum. Right, plum. Evening word worm, Paul. So it's plums I'm and then something else, okay? Plums and something. And I Mark Harvey. Evening, Mark. Sorry, Hi, Mark. Susie. <laughs> hey, we got to be close to 100 now. Uh, <laughs> no, it's gone uh, down just a little bit. Now, nah, there's probably people fell out as well. Tell you, that's yeah, what gone home, gone to bed. Gone home, so gone to bed. it always goes up and down throughout. Just uh, fed up, had enough. I'm away. Living in other parts right. of the world where it's probably one o'clock in the morning or something. Correct. Yeah, well, Amy was in today at lunchtime and it was. Uh, Midnight, midnight, midnight 44 for her. Yeah. yeah. Right, Plum. Did somebody say Plum? You want Plum? Right I never said nothing. Someone did right. say earlier, didn't they? I can't remember who well, it was. Well, earlier, some, somebody said uh, black and yellow earlier. Yeah, there's no that chance of being dude. black and yellow. Zero oh, that was the wood dude, but he's, he's got Stephen. Him. Stephen was... Uh, there's no chance yeah. of being black and yellow. None. Zero. Malcolm is saying sky blue. That might happen. Start off with plum is a good, good. Uh, Andy is uh, saying midnight blue. See, I got my way, and I didn't even uh, say it. Yeah. Mark is saying yeah. turquoise. I've got well, I've got turquoise, but that'll have to be an afterthought. That tough. <coughs> I've got um, Joe Sonia turquoise, which I can brush over a dry brush later, just to give it a little highlight on the grain. So plum. we can add turquoise. Yep. Plum we're using now. If I can get the lid off it to put some more in it because it's kind of empty. Kev yeah, wants to nice know why, why does nobody use green? Because the well, green we do use green. I, I do because I, so I always say plum. <laughs> That's because Roy always says plum, right? I can't Adam's remember. just put his favourite colours in that flame, ruby, and yellow. Yeah, as usual. <laughs> mint. Ben is saying red and green. That's wrong, wrong channel for mint. Yeah, mint so that's, Wayne, that's yeah. Wayne's channel, that is. Yeah, mint. mint channel. William wants blue and the other blue. Yeah, that's that, blue, that's yeah, that blue, blue and light blue. That's Red William blue, easily satisfied. Blue is what you're, what you're trying to say, William. If you're talking it's about like it, Ben wants red and green. <sighs> red and green. Be yellow, red, and, <laughs> red and green should never be seen, is that? Or is yeah. that red, blue? Or from no, it's blue, and, it's blue and green should never be seen. There we go. So we're just going to add some dark colour at the bottom. Oh, <laughs> you know when you know it's Andy. This is great to match your hair, Brian. Who said that? Was that that Andy fella? Yeah, okay, it says red to match your shoes. Well, why am I? Why am I not surprised? Oh, I think you you're going to have to end up with the with the top part that's not textured as as nice yellow. Got after you. Robert wants sandy grey russet. That, okay, I would say that that's probably enough. Purple. Yeah. And yeah, just make sure it's nice to... and dark at the bottom. Yeah, tally. down the bottom, yeah. And I've we'll got enough kind of well, maybe just let it fade up a little bit there. No, 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 no. To darken some of this. Yeah, just trust me. Trust me, I'm yeah. a colorist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that should do. Right, that's plum. What else do we say? Uh, we dark blue and sky blue. Dark blue, oh, sky I don't, blue. Well, the dark blue is very, very dark, guys. Yeah, it's dark. It's as dark as the plum. So uh, I think I'll go sky blue first and see what happens. Yeah. See what it looks like. Purple and sky blue. Mm. Don't think you can't take it off afterwards because you textured it. Yeah, no, I don't care. Kev says red to match your shoes. Well, that's that's possible too. Red would go with that, of course. Raymond Wise wants tartan. Well, if he can supply me with a bottle of tartan paint, I'll certainly put it on. Reading. 
Richard Phelan says, Ruby. Ben says, phone a friend, ask Mike Walt. <laughs> the international colorist. <laughs> Mr. Mike Walt, the international colorist. Hey, I'm going to do that knot in, light, in this light blue. And just oh, a little yeah. bit. Just like... Let me get in there too. But like that, I'll do. Yeah, go ahead. And people just fade to a light red. Andy says, oh. "Are you gonna? You see where you got the knot? Are you gonna do that as a separate color on the knot? No, I've just no. done it a little bit blue there. See that? I've just done it a little bit blue. So." You see how we'll deep the purple is looking now? You know, it's... What, I'm trying to make, what I'm trying to make that look like is the moon. A little bit of blue in the moon. That's the, that's the thought that's in my head. I mean, I told you I was getting a bit artistic. Talking about the moon, did anyone see that video that was on Facebook today about a asteroid hitting the moon? No. Nope. And no. you can no. actually see the explosion in the oh. daytime. Oh, I'm surprised, it surprised it? that wasn't on the news and stuff. Yeah. Right, how's that? Is that looking? 23 years, isn't there, to it? Possibly going to eat us. Mm. Oh, well. I'll be dead by then. What do we think of that then, guys? Blue? It is very dark. You're right, Andy. It is very dark. And that's the light, light of the two. It should light an upload, isn't it? If that's the lighter one. No, that doesn't. That's it. It doesn't. Is it? Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, the nut is a rabbit's nose. <laughs> don't want black now, plum. Midnight blue is too dark. Um, what about this, guys? What about a little bit of this? 23, let me say. 246. Is that brown? No, this is orange. Yep, yeah, oh my god. Adam says you could sand off the peaks to show the texture. Can. I'm going to highlight the texture. You wait and see. I'm going to finish that. With embellishing wax. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I don't do embellishing wax. You, you left yourself wide open for that. I did, a bit. What do we think? Is that uh, too dark? No, you need something in between them now. Do we? Doesn't look like there's much colouring in them, it's sort of middle. Oh, and this and this bit here. Yeah, yeah. That's blue. blue. In there. I wonder what I could put in there then. Yeah, I would have finished the top with yellow for them. Yeah, I know you would have. I know you would have. I'd put the orange further down. Cheers, Ben. Is that more to your taste, Mr. Uh, yes. Mr. Roy the boy? Yeah. What is that you're putting on a yo-yo? This is um, honey. All right. I like honey. Just bring it on, on up into that orange as well, it's which changes the colour slightly. Yeah. Is that better now? That's all you're getting. That's it. That's the colours on. That's all the colours are getting. Let's see what it's like when you highlight it. Yep. So I need a little bit of uh, metal lightly spirits now. Just clean that brush out with metal lightly spirits. That'll do. Lucy says she loves Joe singing, but she hasn't sung tonight yet. Lucy's yes, we'll be, we'll be singing tonight because uh, we're not using your regret. You could grit the inside. I was no, just going to say that. Susie, be quiet. No, I, no, I could quiet, Susie. Be quiet. <laughs> Gee, there's another woman singing. Blimey. Oh, oh no, he won't. <laughs> right, that's the colours on it. So we and need some uh, spray sanding, Silver. Adam says it will look cool burnished. Oh, burnishing oil. I don't know what it... It just said question mark with it. Just have to give this uh, 
give the sanding sealer a little bit of a shake. Don't think there's all that much left in it. There should be enough, I hope. And oh no, it's Andy. He says if I you just remove it all over my chocolate. Yeah, if Who you remove the, if you remove the tip of the yeah. airbrush, it helps prevent splatter. One of Michelle's good uh, details. Burnishing as in Martin's citrus oil. Oh, citrus oil. Yeah. But, mm. Well, we're putting this on it now. Wow, the colours really come to life. Yep. What is that you just put on? This is um, spray sand. Spray sand, is it? Is it? Okay. I'm sure she's a Yeah, yeah. Professional range. Just changes it entirely, doesn't it? Yep. Yeah. Instead of using 16 coats of the older type, you only need three of those. No, this is not like a tell. Oh, no, that's sand, is it? For his it's varnishes, sandy, or yeah. not his varnishes, what's he called? His, yeah. um, the lacquers. professional lacquer. Yeah. Right, so we'll just need to get that. You need off. three coats instead of 10 or 15. You see. Put far too much sanding sealer on that. I'm going to wipe yeah. a little bit off of that, just at the bottom there. Without taking any of the dial. Oh, that's actually a nice effect, that. Huh? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that's brought Ooh. that honey colour out nice in between. Oh, look at that. You kind of can see the difference there, now. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a plum up to here, and then uh, sky blue to there, and then a little bit of um, plum and stuff all mixed in in the middle. <laughs> the uh, orange. Is it orange, he calls it? Uh, burnt orange. Flame, wasn't it? Was it orange and then, or flame? And then, yeah, you did no, it or and then I went back over this section with uh, honey, just to try and highlight the different colours on it. Well, there's and a that new lingo coming out. Yeah. New lingo? That well, looks savage, William Kenny says. Savage. savage. Savage? Oh, that's that's a good savage, Irish word, guys. Uh, savage, savage in Ireland means extremely good. Does it? Oh, I thought he meant he lived down in in in, in Ireland. There's savages. You know, that's what no, I thought he meant. That's, that's what savage. Oh, had a savage bag of chips yesterday. <laughs> Kevin K9 wants to know, have you passed the course to use that, Brian? Uh, not yet, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Don't need to, he's using his own house. So we'll just have to let that soak in a little bit, guys, a little bit dry. Because what Another I want to do now... looks pure is, belter, uh, Gary pure says. Belter. Oh, that's a good word. That Gary Glass? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of thought that. So iridescent yes. blue. Who said that? Somebody said iridescent, didn't they? Iridescent. Um, what do you call it? Um, oh. Violet. It was violet, wasn't it? Don't know. Susie said you're going to embellish and wax it. No. No. Mm. Uh, that looks no. proper sick, Brian says Ben. Oh, proper sick. Oof. Violet and iridescent juice on your paints. That's what's going on next. And then it might get a tiny little bit of red. Ooh. And I'm going to use my favourite tools. My is that for the brushes. inside? Sponge no, this yeah, is for the outside. It's for the yeah. outside. Yeah, you haven't finished yet. Yeah, finished. I've got some of them, Brian. Yet, Brian. <laughs> I, I just, I just I bought a huge big pack of them. Yeah, I just bought a huge pack of them myself. Yeah. And I also bought some, uh, some of these ones. Ooh, the jumbo Ooh, brush. That one. Mm. Wow. Big ones. <coughs> yep. Well, I intend to do some big holoforms, so I thought I might get some big, uh, big brushes. <laughs> yeah. That was my logic. Probably not very good logic, but it was my logic. The good thing about these chucks is you do get a bit of sanding sealer or lacquer on them easy to clean. Oh. <sighs> Spin them up, put 400 sandpaper on it. Taking a little bit longer to dry than I would like, so we'll turn the speed down and just let some air go over it. And I'll get the hot air gun out. Not too close. Not too close, sir. Right? I know you. Not Raymond too close, Wise not too says it's a masterpiece, right. Brian. A masterpiece. It's a masterpiece. Frank Gillery says masterpiece. it's banging, Brian. It's banging. It's yeah. <laughs> I hope it's not banging yet. All this new vocabulary. And Mark Harvey is saying it's top banana. Top banana. Oh, top banana. <laughs> and Kev said no one said it's a cracker. It's a cracker. <laughs> it's just a way of telling them. <laughs> no, yeah. it's a way. It's a way of turning them. It's a cracker. It's a cracker. Yeah. 
Oh, mind you, it, it did crack, didn't it, when you turned it? Yeah, it's, it's cracked a whole lot. No. Shh. <laughs> Shh. Don't mention the cracks. <laughs> a bit like John Cleese, don't mention the war. Don't mention the cracks. <laughs> Mustard. Paul Wood. Wood. We'll be fine, boys. It'll be fine. Oh, Woodman Paul. Get it right. Woodworm Paul says mustard. How are we doing for time? It's 20, 20 37. Grandpa Jim has joined us. Welcome. Hello, Hi, Jim. Jim. Evening, Jim. Remember what you said about not getting too close, Terry? Yeah. Oh, I didn't do it. <laughs> I don't know. Hello, Hello, Grandpa. Grandpa. I've been watching. Grandpa Jim. Get it, Grandma. <laughs> it's okay. I can fix the bubbles. Eh? I can fix the bubbles. Just like a little bubble. Gary Glasses, he's good to go for another wee while. A couple of cocktail sticks rammed into your eyelids. Keep them open. Need good to watch Gary. this one to the end. Need good to watch Gary. it to the end, he says. So We'll all be with you, Gary. We'll all be with you, mate. I need, I need my little air gun. Hey, what's warm in here, got? What temperature is it? 15.8 uh, degrees. <laughs> you can tell the weather's uh, changed now. Ballon de Chien. So it has changed. If we say Chien's actually a dog, I believe, in French. So I'll leave everyone else to imagine what he's just said. So I'm just trying the to get that little, there's, there's tiny little bit. <laughs> the dog's whiskers. I'm sure that's not what he said. Not quite. No. no. Other end. Not quite. I was trying to, was trying yeah, not the other, to say the other, it. Other opposite end, end, yeah. Or nearly the opposite end. Obviously. It's the it's the bog's dollocks. <laughs> I'm going to have to turn this heater down. Isn't it? <laughs> Says Lucy. <laughs> oh, dear. Right. Now, a little bit of juice on your pants. So Robert Forward uh, said that should be in the Tate Gallery, Brian. That should. A little, a little bit of. You haven't seen it finished yet, Robert. Wait for the. This is the coup de gras. I mean, no, you this wait for the, this. The coup de gras. It's yeah, be in the Tate right Gallery. Don't say. Hold on, boys. Look, I'm even bringing out my palette today. Uh, oh, oh, he's oh, a man. Man. Looks he's professional. Posh today. Posh. <laughs> this is a little mixing palette. Not that we'll be mixing anything. Oh, that should be plenty. Doesn't take very much of this Joe Sonia's paint, and it comes out white. For, oh, look, it's on my finger already. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at the same. Brian, 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 Brian remember, fingers, remember which one that is, Brian, because the other one's going to be white as well, and you forget where you spread I'm one. I'm only doing one at a time, Kelly. I'm doing oh, one at a time. So that was uh, that was the violet, because if you look at the mess I made at the top. Mm. Disaster. Mm. And I oh, thought you was tidy when you was turning, Brian. Yeah, no, not with paints, mate. Ask Michelle. So what I'm doing is I'm just, I'm kind of dry brush, just dipping the, can you see that, eh? No. Hey, there we go. Just can. dipping the brush on it and then kind of wiping it until it kind of starts to dry. And then I'm just going to gently brush it over the surface. And the beauty of that is the flat edge of the brush lot won't sink into the, or it's not supposed to sink into the. It doesn't. The it doesn't. Textured parts. So if you look so you at the, the big, if you on see top. on the big texture pieces, you'll see it's highlighted, but the, the color underneath is still the same. Whereas if you're using a small brush or a bristled brush, yep, the hairs would go into the. Correct. Yeah. You would be putting the paint on everything, whereas you just want to highlight this bottom rim. Turn it over. Just make sure that's not too. Yeah. Did the sponges I used when I done my blue bowl? It's the first blue bowl. Yep. Okay. So there's the there's the violet on the bottom. That looks Give amazing. It. Give that a little bit of a rub. Yeah, you want to get some lacquer on it? You don't need much <laughs> at all, do you? Yeah, we'll oh, lacquer it after, later. You see how much I've got left there? I've got tons mm. left. I had far too much out. That's Joe um, Sonia relies on you putting too much out so she can sell you something. <laughs> so, so, yeah. I mean, these bottles are only what? They're, uh, I don't know what size they are. But, yeah, 50 oh, mil, eh? 60, 60 mil, yes, mil. And I've had them for three years. Yeah. And you, you guys know way. that I do quite a bit of colouring. Stephen yeah. the Wood says we are so blessed to be able to watch such an artist at work. Oh, Stephen, get off your. You are, Stephen. 
Count your yeah. blessings. Yeah, and and just, just count your blessings and cooking his dinner. And, and don't forget the super chats. <laughs> See, Stephen's supposed to be cooking his dinner. He's lurking behind now. I mean, yeah, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. he says, no, I'm off now, but he, don't, he stays there. See? No, he, he yeah. does that and he comes back then. So a little bit of red. You see this is, looks white as well. Oh, look at all that. Uh, what a mess. Oh, look. Just Kev, that's always finger, the same need. on the TVs. It's, it I had that, that problem as well. Yeah. It can take me over. Glenn and Sometimes I are at different even speeds. Longer. Glenn and you so have no, always been at no different speeds, Joe. For you guys. I've used this once. <laughs> has to go in the bin now. No expense spare, I'm telling you. I can't believe it. Can't, can't you spare. wash them? Uh, no, I just threw them in the bin. I think it's was a... I think it's like uh, one pound English for 20 of yeah. them. I bought a bag of 100 and it, uh, yep. and it cost me nine pounds. For 100? There you go. So yeah, it's last not, rest it's of your life. Not, certainly not worth it. Um, and that was on AliExpress. Well, I just bought my on Amazon. They weren't quite as cheap as that, but they weren't far away. So I'm just highlighting this bit of text. And I think, oh, that's too much. Worth. And that was including free delivery. I've just rubbed makes right change. Text. On AliExpress? Yeah. I've never used AliExpress. Some of the things, but some of their um, postage now is getting silly. Yeah, it's like everybody oh, else. It's the same all over the place, isn't it? Douglas Mungham's got the measure of Stephen the Wood Dude. Yeah. What are you after, Stephen? A steady rest? <laughs> <laughs> you sound just like you said, James, ain't I? I know. <laughs> And for those younger people in the chat who don't know who Everyone said knew who that was. I'm just going to bring that red on up there. Just get little streaks up into the top there. So as you can see there. There we go. And that'll do. Stop. And I've wasted a whole lot of paint again. Like no, you put that back in. Take the lid off and put it back in. Oh, hold that. That's one thing Joe said to me at the weekend. When you pour too much out into the cup, put it back in. It won't spoil. Another brush in the bucket. Right, that's that. So now the last thing we need then is some magic lacquer. Uh, You've got to let maybe, that dry a minute. Yeah, oh my. Me being, my cheap, me being the cheapskate that I is, I use this lacquer. Yeah, I've, I've got some of it. Halfers. Uh, Lucy, Cliff. don't talk about Andy like that. <laughs> she gave Andy a hard time again, is she? Yeah. yeah. Lucy says, I've got a young lady beside me who won't, who wouldn't go to sleep. Well, here, get to bed, girl. None of your nonsense. Off you go, bed. Yeah, see, that was my masterful voice. Did you hear that? Mm. <laughs> You stay up as long as you want, dear. That's why I say. Yeah. I say that to my wife, but she don't listen. She's not in my house. <laughs> right. Doesn't take long for that to dry. Mm -hmm. Pretty much dry already. I'll go in after, and because I've been out here so long, all day today as end this evening. Of course, eh? She'd probably say to me, "Do you want a sleeping bag for it in there and all next?" Paul has just said we've got ninety-six watching. Yep. Four more for the hundred. Yeah. Right, here we go. Let's see if I can share it out and get a few of my people in. Have a look. Brian. Yes. Susie. Lucy says she's just giggled at you. She's giggled at me. Yeah. Good. Good girl. You Lucy. just. What's What's the girl's name? Kezia or something. Kezia. Hang on. Is it Kezia? Is that how you say it? Something. You stay up as long as you want, dear. Uh, half past midnight's fine. You go to bed at about one o'clock in the morning, you'll be grand. Never mind yeah. what your mum and dad say. And if you yeah. if you go if you go, if you go says, bed if you go bed making a lot of noise, a real lot of noise, they'll give you chocolates and sweets as well. But if you go bed quietly, they won't. <laughs> Yeah. Kezia, yes. If I hope I've, I've pronounced that correctly. Right, so I always do this and put um, uh, 
Turn the lathe down as low as it'll go. That's too low. <laughs> That's 83 revolution or 84 revs. And now normally I would leave that for 15 minutes. But we'll use a little bit of heat and we'll just lose one coat and I'll give it another couple of coats later. To try and get that to go off. Just because we're on a live and it's getting to quarter to nine. It will bubble easy, mine, so be careful. Yeah, I know. Turn the heat down to a dull roar and stand about three feet away. In fact, I'll put the, I'll put the extractor on as well. Kev is saying Uncle Brian wants to babysit at Harrogate. Yeah, no, he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, he doesn't. Lucy, is Andy fell asleep? <laughs> I can see him in the chat. Oh, good, Lucy. I'm glad I did. Oh, it's warm, guys. Mm. Not to plant this off yet. Well, I wouldn't, Brian, if you're going to use it. Yeah, give it lots like more it coats. Again. I'm going to take it off and stand leave, it up so as you can see. Though. I would leave it on, you know, leave it back on. Don't take, don't Miller part is it in. off. Hello, Stephen. Good evening. Sorry I'm late. Good evening. Hi, Stephen. Welcome along, buddy. Thanks Mark for coming Harvey's in. asking if there's a wood turning shop in Harrogate. Uh, uh, there is. A, there is on the 13th or 14th of November. <laughs> it's about yeah, the biggest one in the country. It's about it's a, a big show. Yeah, factory wide. Everybody there. I don't think there is a wood turning shop in Harrogate no, as such. Think. I never noticed one. Would, would, uh, show. Me neither. Snaton's would have been the closest one, would it not? They're closing down April 1st. I know. April 6th. I'm just waving my hand in front of this to disrupt the airflow. Let me go to that overhead. There you go. So I'm just kind of waving my hand in front of the, the heater just to disrupt, disrupt the airflow. Douglas, took... that was just for the uh, the bubble wrap, mate. What was that? Douglas says that he keeps getting ads from from Banggood for a laser. Uh... Oops, I've lost the ad. A laser for four ninety nine. Yeah, for four ninety nine. Yeah. Ooh, I like him. Like him. He had a look, and it, it's the laser packer. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Yeah, yeah, not for that. You wouldn't even get the beak. You wouldn't even get the beak for that. I tell you what, it might well, be the plastic it, cover. That's just for the bait, the bubble wrap for it. <laughs> yeah. Somebody's having your having your over me. Might just spend be it the, and never see it might again. Just be a little plastic hood thing that sits over it or something. It's certainly not for the laser packer. It's way about fifteen hundred quid now. There's another one coming out soon, very soon. So let's take that off. <clears throat> It, see you later. Doug, Doug Miller's got to go. Bye, Bye, Doug. Doug. Bye, Doug. So I'm not going to, I'm going to just take Enjoy this off. Chuck, and let you see it, because I want to give it another couple of coats of lacquer, and then I'll part it off. I'll take it off of there and hope it'll stand up there. There we go. Yeah, look at that perfection. And if I show you. I'll leave it turning on, though, so you can give it more lacquer when Go to the tail stop. Where's Maurice? Maurice you need light. Right. It's right here. You need light on it, Brian. Yeah, you, you need, need some light. It's, it's in shadow. Let me try and lift that light up. Oh. Is that any better? No. Oh, well, at least. Oh. Oh. Oops. <laughs> oh, that's the light off. <laughs> Oops. Now you need, now you just Mine, need the wires to go with it. The yeah, mine comes up full of that. <laughs> No, just they, 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 just, they just slide down and out. Sorry. Is that yeah, more light now? Put it down on the lid, looking straight at it from where we can. You know. I can't do that. Oh, that's, that's, better right. that's, that's, that's the way to do it. How about that? No, that's that's right. that looks stunning. So there's really a little noise. bars. That's beautiful. There's the knot left. Yeah. And a yellowish and greenish. Yeah. That's not bad for you. Ooh. That's not, that's not no, too bad. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> So there you go, that's that little project. Excellent. Ended up, ended up what, how, did, how tall was it? Ends Eight up. inch. Seven inch when you cut the bottom off, Roughly maybe. Eight inches, about seven inches tall. And across the, the, the mouth of it is three and a half yeah. inches. Yeah, so there you go, guys. That's your, that's your lot for tonight. Well, not Very bad, good, Brian. Let me go here. And 
I don't know if that shows the colours any better. There you go. That's the little. It looks better on the other camera just because the light is different now. The light's behind you now, that fluorescent, not the the LED like behind it. you. That's better. That's true colour there. That's that little camera there. You can see close. Lots of good there, comments so. coming in, Brian. Yeah. Everybody's well, I'm, quite, I'm happy with that. And once I get another couple of yeah. coats of lacquer on it, it'll, it'll shine. Just, it'll shine up and mm. pop out. Kev the colours are bad. That's, it's why, it's that's why you can't see it really. The icing on the cake. <laughs> Stunning. Great Excellent. Piece. Very, very nice. The shine the torch on that, you'll see the colours. Yeah. The colours yeah. are a bit brighter than you, than you can see it on the camera. And there's a little knot there. Roger idea. Kent saying, good job, Susie and Roy. So, yeah. Thank you, Roger. Next. Let me bring all you guys Thank back you, in. Thank you, Roger. We'll bring all you guys back in now. So, there we go. So, a huge Bye. thank you to these two people. Um, um, we'll do Susie first. Huge thank you, Susie. For Hi. coming in and earworming for me tonight, uh, just for a change, to, it's her first earworming experience, so no doubt she'll be yeah, back, brilliant. I hope. Brilliant. And let's go to Roy. There's Roy the boy. He's uh, Thank you. It's his first earworming experience as well, I think. On the wood turning channel, maybe. Oh, the wood turning, yeah. yeah. He yeah, does lots of lives on his own channel and stuff, you know. He does loads of Small things. engine stuff, yeah. Yeah. Um, so that's, and then we have... Uh, we have Terry. Oh, I've got. I was no, going to say, you got I've, me. Oh, sorry, got sorry. Hold, hold on, hold on. I'm very shy. Oh, right, I've got, got my t-shirt on. There we are. If you haven't got a makeup t-shirt nice. yet, no, pop get up one. Steve at SK Crafts and get yourself one other. It's all for a good charity cause. Uh, and we've got yeah. Terry the temporary. Oh, I'm the shy one of the group. As yeah. You can <laughs> yeah, of yeah well, okay. <laughs> I am invincible. I'm invincible. <laughs> and last but not least. We have the Josephine. Josephine. Right, there we go. And of course, you've got me, but you don't really want to see me anyway. Uh, so let's put everybody back on screen. That's it for tonight, guys. Thank you very much for coming in to the Stable Studios for Heart Returning. And we'll see you. When will I see you again? When will, when I, will see I see you, you again? again? Thursday? <laughs> Thursday? Uh, no, I'm not doing Well, I could do Thursday, I suppose, if the foot stands up. Turn around. Uh, I'll be back uh, at Su evening, Susie, then. Susie and Roy, don't don't sign off. Don't go away. Just no, yeah, Brian's yeah, yeah, just, just you stay there. Just stay you where stay you are. You are, just for a there you are. Um, I'm going to say goodbye to everybody in the chat. So if ever, all of you guys say good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. I'll Thanks say good night and I'm pressing the button. We'll see you on the next one, guys. See bye you all now. next time. Bye, everyone. I'm on Sunday. <laughs>